Hi everyone, my name is Alexandra Martinez. I am a developer advocate here at MuleSoft. And in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to develop, test, and deploy our very first Mule application. So don't worry if you're still getting started. We'll walk you through all of the steps you need to do in order to get done with your very first Mule app. The first thing we're going to do is go into anypoint.mulesoft.com to create a free trial account for your very first time. With this AnyPoint platform account, we are going to deploy our application into Cloud Hub. After that, we're going to go into mulesoft.com slash studio, and this will help us download our AnyPoint studio, which is MuleSoft's IDE. You can just click on this button here to download and select your operating system from this dropdown, fill up your details, and click on download. Once you install it, you will see a window very similar to this one, where you can select your workspace where you're going to be working. In this case, you can just leave it with the default workspace and click on launch. Once it opens, this is AnyPoint Studio, MuleSoft's IDE. On the left side of the screen, you will be able to see all of the package explorer, all of the folders and all of your files. On the right side of the screen, you will be able to find the Mule palette, which is where we will find all of our modules and connectors to use in our flow. On the bottom side of the screen, you will find the Mule properties where you will be able to change all of the connectors properties or configuration. We also have the console where you will be able to see all of the logs or if there are any errors with the code. And on the center of the screen is the canvas. This is where we will be working on all of our code. To get started, let's first create a new Mule project. So if you go to the left side of the screen and click on this Create a Mule Project link, this will open a new window where it's going to ask you for the project name. Let's just write Hello Mule and click on Finish. Now that the new project is created, it will be easier to see for example here we have all of our folders and all of our files and on this side we will be able to see all of the modules and connectors that we have available to use so let's start by selecting an http module and then getting the listener you can just drag and drop it into the canvas this will create a new mule flow with an http listener ready for us to use now, as you can see, right now we have selected the HTTP listener and we will be able to see all of the listener's properties. If we click on anywhere else in the screen, this will go away. So if we click on it again or double click it, you will be able to see the properties again. For the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into basic settings, connector configuration. So we're going to go into this side and click on the plus button. Once we click on it, an HTTP listener config window will open. Here you can select all of the properties for your HTTP listener configuration. In our case, let's just leave all the default. So HTTP default protocol, the host is going to be 0000. So let's leave all the defaults and click on OK. After that, we can go into the general path section here and select Hello Mule. After we have that configuration, we can just click on the, on the other side of the canvas and you will see that the errors have gone away. Now that we have our HTTP listener all set up, let's go into our favorites. You may have this already and select the set payload component from here. If you don't have it there, you can just go into the core module and scroll down until you see the set payload component. Another thing you can also do is search in the Mule palette. So you can just set for set payload and then select it, drag and drop it into the canvas. Once that's done, you can just change the settings from this part. So check out the FX button and then write Hello Mule right here. You can click in another part of the canvas again. So now that we have our very first Mule app, let's try to test it locally to see if it works. First, you have to save it. To save it, you can click on this Save button or on the Save All button. Let's just click on Save All. And as you can see, we no longer have the asterisk on this file. 
Now that we saved it, we can just right click into the canvas and select Run Project Hello Mule. This will start deploying our Mule application in our local machine. Once you see this deployed message right here in the console, you will know that this application is working and there are no errors. To test this application, you can use any of your preferred REST client to test it. It can be from the terminal using curl, it can be from an application like the advanced REST client or Postman as well. So you can choose whichever client you prefer. In our case, we're going to be using Postman throughout these tutorials. To install Ledge, you just have to go to postman.com and download the application for your computer. Once you install Postman, it will look something like this. So you can just click on this plus button right here, and this will create a new untitled request that you can use. In our case, we're going to be using 0000 and then colon. 8081, which is the port that we're using, slash hello mule, which is the URL that we set in the HTTP listener. You can also change, instead of saying 0000, you can just say localhost. And that's all that we need to set up. We can just click on the send button right here, and you will receive the response. Notice how this may look different to you. In my case, I have a setup with my request on the left side and my response on the right side. If you want to change this to look like mine, you can just go into the View menu and then select Toggle to, to Pane View. This will change to show the request at the top or the response at the bottom, or you can just click on it again and it will change to have the request on the left and the response on the right. For now, let's just leave it with the request at the top and the response at the bottom, so it's easier for us to see just the response. So after we click on the send button, this is the response that we receive. We have a hello meal response in the body, and we have a 200 OK status. This is what we're looking for to know that our mule application is working. So now that we know that it's working locally, we can now deploy our mule application into Cloud Hub. So if we go back to our studio, we can just stop the application from this button here, or we can also stop it by right clicking on the canvas and selecting stop project hello mule. Once you do that, you will notice how this button changed from a red to a gray color and it's no longer clickable. That's how you know that you stopped this application. Also, if you right click on the canvas again, you will see again the run project hello mule button instead of the stop button. Now let's go into our project's root folder, in this case hello mule. You can right click on it and then go into any point platform deployed to Cloud Hub. This will open a new window where you can select the username and password that you created for any point platform. Remember, at any point.mulesoft.com, if you haven't done this step already, you can just go ahead and create a new account, save your username and password, and then input them here. Once you input your credentials, you will see a screen similar to this one, which is where you do all the setup to deploy your Mule application into Cloud Hub. You will notice how there is a red alert right here. This is because this name already exists in Cloud Hub. So we can give it our own name. For example, test one. Yes, that works. Once you have this green check, it means that everything is correct with the name. And we can just leave all of the defaults for the rest of the configurations. Now you just have to click on the deploy application button. And this will start deploying our application into Cloud Hub. The product that we're using to do this is called Runtime Manager. Now, there are two things that we can do right here. We can open this in browser or we can just close the window. In this case, I'm just going to close the window. We don't have to leave this window open in order for the application to deploy. This was already sent into the Runtime Manager product. Now, if we go back into AnyPoint platform, on the left side of the screen, we will see the menu, 
we can click on the runtime manager button right here and this will take us to choose our environment we can either select design or sandbox in our case let's select sandbox and we will see that our new hello mule test one application is currently deploying you can click on it to see more of the details and you can see the logs right here looks like the application is already deployed it has a green status here and it says started and we can also see in the logs that the application was started correctly now to send a request from postman into this application that is in the cloud we can just go into settings and we will see an app url right here you can just right click on it and copy it then go back into Postman and instead of calling localhost 8081 slash hello mule, we can just get rid of all that and paste the new host that we got from Runtime Manager. Now if you click on send, it will still work. It will still send the hello mule body response and our 200 or K response. This means that our application is working in the cloud. Congratulations on creating your very first Mule application. If you have any questions regarding the code, you can download the jar or the GitHub repository and check it out for yourself by importing the project into AnyPoint Studio. Continue your getting started journey with the next video or the next tutorial. See you on the next one.